Hello again, Bruce Mills from millsway.com. I want to talk to you today about improving your health. Yes, that's right, improving your health. It's so important to help you reach your dreams. First time I realized my health wasn't where I wanted it to be was Sunday afternoon when I was dead after a touch football game. Yes, that's right. We decided in our neighborhood that we were going to play touch football every Sunday morning. And then in the afternoon, we'd watch football together. Well, there was 12 guys that played that day. And the next day, five of them called in sick to work. We were all dead. I could barely walk myself. We found out we weren't in as good a shape as we thought we were. After that day, I had enough pain from the way I was feeling to make a change, to make a change to get in better health. I'm going to be covering with you four ways that I did it in a few minutes. But first, I want to talk to you about laughter. You know, we had such a good laugh after that football game about how dead we were that laughter took away our pain for a little while. They say laughter helps reduce anxiety, reduce stress, helps you live longer. So it's too bad we don't laugh as much as we used to. International Congress of Humor recently did a report and it showed that since 1950, adults laugh 62% less than they did back in 1950. That's crazy. We used to laugh 18 minutes a day in 1950. Now we're lucky to laugh four to six minutes a day. They say kids laugh 400 times a day. Here they say 64% of adults at home only smile 20 or fewer times a day. And then 72% of adults smile 20 or fewer times at work. We need to smile more. We need to laugh more to be healthier. Have fun. Enjoy life. Now before I get into my four areas, I do want to make a disclaimer. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm telling you what worked for me. I do ask that if people decide to go into a coaching or hypnosis program that they do seek medical advice before starting so they can safely adjust their medication. How's that for a disclaimer? First area I want to cover is food. Food and water is so important to better health. A balanced diet is so important. When your diet isn't balanced and you're eating the wrong foods, it can lead to taking in more alcohol, it can take in the gaining weight, and then all of a sudden you feel bad about yourself because you're heavier than you wanted to be. When I got divorced in 2001, I went from 158 pounds to 218 pounds. I wasn't feeling good at myself at all. 60 pounds I gained that first year. Then I met someone that helped me start eating better. So I was eating junk food and eating out all the time. I wasn't drinking any water. I was feeling tired all the time. So then I started eating better. I lost the weight and I got more exercise and had more energy. So I encourage you all, go take a look at the foods you're eating and be honest. List all the foods you're eating, including snacks. How much water are you drinking? I try to drink six to eight glasses a day now. List all that out and then go talk to your doctor or go talk to a dietitian, or buy a book or get a life coach and see how that compares to a healthy menu. Second area is exercise. Exercise is so important to feeling better about yourself, to having the energy to go and do things. Now exercise doesn't have to be anything hard. You can start slow. When I first, when I was divorced and I started playing softball, that's when I found out that I needed to exercise more 
because I couldn't even run after a fly ball hit. Then I started going for walks and gradually went into jogs and I found my energy level going up. So I encourage you to take a look at your exercise. How much exercise are you getting? Just go for walks if you need to. With exercise, you also need to rest. How much sleep are you getting? Make sure you're getting six to eight hours a night in sleep. When I found that I would come home and start working on my website, and before I knew it, I'd got one or two hours sleep and I'd go to work. Then I was drained at work, I was drained at home, my produ productivity was going down, all because of lack of sleep. My life was out of balance. When our life's out of balance, we lose time to exercise, we lose time to sleep, we could lose time to eat properly. We say, but I've got life demands, I've got kids, I've got work. They're all excuses. You can balance your life. You can schedule time for all the things that are important to you. So I encourage you, take a look at how much sleep you're getting and how much exercise you're getting. Third area is growth. You need to grow in your mind and relaxation skills. Ways to do that is get a book, hire a life coach, go to seminars, find relaxation skills, and learn how to breathe. Breathing is such a key to relaxation, getting your stress levels down. I encourage you to grow your minds. Continue to learn about how to be healthier. A good breathing technique to do, which we'll do real quick, is take a deep breath in. Count a two, slowly exhale, and count five, four, three, two, one. And tell yourself, you give yourself permission to let go of stress now. Normally, if I was in a seminar or a group, I would have the group practice it three times. We won't do that right now since we're doing it on video, but I encourage you to do that anytime you feel stressed and you need to calm down. Best thing to do too when you practice that if you can is close your eyes, but don't do it of course if you're driving a car. <laughs> you might get in an accident. Fourth area of improving your health is get a mentor. A mentor could be a friend, a family member, a life coach, your doctor, but get a mentor. Mentors keep you on track. My mentor for my health is Ayn. She's a dietitian at Hy-Vee. Ayn is so good because if she sees me buying the wrong foods, if she sees me eating the wrong foods, if she sees me drinking a can of pop, she'll say something to me. She'll call me out. Also, she's always asking me, how much are you working out? You still working out six days a week? How much are you lifting? How much are you jogging? Ayn is a great mentor for myself, and I really appreciate how, what she does. But the way to get mentors and the way to put that pressure on yourself to do all these healthy things is tell people about it. Tell your friends, tell your family members. This goes for any goals too, but we'll talk about those in another video. But when you tell people your plans, it puts more pressure on yourself to make it happen. So to recap, I encourage you all to watch the foods you drink. Watch the, forget that foods to drink thing, you better eat food or you'll really not be doing very good. Drink enough water. That's right, I encourage you to drink six to eight out glasses of water a day. Get enough exercise. Start by going for walks. Then make sure you're getting enough sleep. Try to get eight hours a night sleep if you can. Next, grow your mind. Get some books. Go to some seminars. Learn how to be healthier. And fourth, get a mentor. 
Tell your friends, family member. Find somebody that's going to keep you motivated, to keep you going in the times that you start going downhill. All these things, though, take effort. Effort on your part. You've got to show effort to make it happen. Remember, if you don't show effort at work, if you don't show effort in your relationships, it's going to go down. Same thing with your health. If you don't make the effort to get healthier, your health is going to go down. Your energy levels is going to go down. So tell yourself today, make a plan, start today, that you're going to improve your health. I encourage you, if you have any questions, email me at bruce at millsway.com. If you need a life coach, you can email me there, or you can visit my website at millsway.com. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great day.